And I think we should lose this paragraph on page 46. It's unnecessary and confusing. Yes, I completely agree. Now, what about this character's vacation to Hawaii? To me, it came completely out of left field. Yes, the Hawaii trip did seem like a first idea. Let's cut it. Yeah, still it needs something, my feathery friend. Why don't we replace vacation to Hawaii with a trip to the funeral? Yes, good idea. The book was lacking in funerals anyway. Yes. Now, have you read the last chapter yet? God, no. God, neither have I. Ah, he never ends a book well anyway. Cut the last chapter. <laughs> now, what about this jacket? To me, it's obvious. It screams book. I trust you. Let's lose it. Done. Now, we need a break. Let's take a walk. Right, left, door, open, exit! And turn! How do you feel about that mailbox? Hmm, too red. Lose it! Mm -hmm. Feelings about the paper box? Yeah, I like the box, hate the headlines. Lose the news! Thank what you. do you think about that bike there? Ah, I like it. Oh. I think this neighborhood would look good in a fire. Uh huh. Lose the fire hydrant. Bingo! Bango! Bongo! Bongo. <laughs> There's something missing in this area. Needs a bit more red. Gain the flowers! Nice touch. Nice looking band. But a bad looking bass player. Next, Next song! Oh, that bench! Get, Get rid of it! it. <laughs> oh. Nice looking couple. I like the girl. Mm, hate the guy. Strike him! <laughs> oh, I meant to play with your jacket. Unnecessary. Lose it. Consider it gone. And your shoes. I like them, but I'm feeling cantankerous. Your belt. Don't like it. Strike it. It's gone. Better take your pants on. Make it easier. <laughs> what jersey is yours? It's nice. It's gone. It's gone. Pass the milk. Would you stop the world? <laughs> we broke up. You broke up with your girlfriend? Yes. So, who broke up with who? Um, it was a mutual thing. She dumped him. Obviously. <laughs> no! It was what's deemed was best for both me and... I can't even say her name. What is it? It's Kathy, Sandra, Susan, right? Laura. Ah! It's not Laura. Ah! Yes, it's Laura. Ah! I gotta get away. Get away from her name. What? Get away from, from Laura? Ah! I'm sure it's not Laura. Ah! It was Laura. I know, because I really liked her. Did you like her? I don't like anyone. Oh, right. <laughs> Laura! Laura! Ouch! Stop the world, we broke up. I'll get my wreck. I'll get off. Love 
Pops out a crack in my head She broke up and left me for dead A real tear <laughs> Like a monster tried to cross my heart She did donuts well I watched Offer it, listen If you won't cut in Will you at least tell me if she's talking to another guy? <laughs> Gonna shave my head, start a game, join the army, move to Spain. Country and western music? I understand it now. <laughs> You may be free like her, but you're not. <laughs> Laura. Oh, Bob, your uh, friend is here. She's uh, waiting in the TV room. Who? Uh, oh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I will. Laura. Oh, dear. What? Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> so, would you like to ask your friend to stay for some leftover leftovers, Bob? Mom! Haven't you done enough already? So? The reason I broke up with you is because my dad likes you. Yeah. But I just found out he was only kidding. Oh. Yeah. So? So? Well? Well? So why don't you ask her if she'd like to get back together, Bob? Mom! Okay. All right. So, they're back together. Who? And <laughs> Like the guy, mm, like the girl. Mm. Ah, cut, cut the, the parents! What? <laughs> Your number's hey. up. Hey. 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 Officially, I guess it's like we never broke up. Cut the scene! On the my daddy died, I spent the last four or five hours of his life up there in his bedroom with him. We settled our differences. I told him I loved him. And he made me promise him that I'd never sell the farm. Well, I lied. Huh? So sue me. My mother is. I'm sorry I'm late, but I had the most wonderful experience. That's okay, let's just play golf. Well, oh, I've right. got to tell you this, you'll never believe it. All right, all right. I was in my study, yeah. doing my tax returns, when all of a sudden I felt pangs of pain along my left arm. 
Then uh -huh. it started becoming very difficult to breathe. Uh -huh. Then all of a sudden, it went black, and I knew that I was dead. <laughs> but it even got eerier after that. In the distance, I heard organ music. I think it was the overture from Joseph and his Technicolored Raincoat. I'm not sure. Yeah. And then I started floating along a very beautifully lit hall, and I saw a giant hand that Beckoning was... Beckoning for you to come forward, right? Yes, yes. But before I could reach the you hand, I was... You violently back through the hallway. The next thing you knew, you were on an operating table surrounded by doctors. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, these doctors told, told me you that... that you've been clinically dead for a few moments. <laughs> yes, it was the, the most, most amazing, amazing experience, experience of your life, and it's left you even more aware of how precious life is. Blah, 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 blah. Can we play golf now? <laughs> I'm sorry if my death and rebirth story bored you. Perhaps if I had some tits in my story, you would have been more interested. <laughs> death and tits? Well, 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 wait a minute. Now, 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 just a minute. I mean, I mean, the first time you came back from the other side, I thought it was the most phenomenal thing I'd ever heard. And the second time, I thought, wow, what are the odds? And then the next four times, I thought, well, it certainly is interesting that it happened so often. But yes, lately I admit it. I'm bored. Can we play golf now? Well... I never thought I'd hear this from you. My best friend bored of all my deaths. They don't seem to be bored every time I'm on the Arsenio Hall show, but you don't want to hear about it. Well, look, oh. look at it from my point of view, would you? What's your point of view? Well, say, say I had this really great chicken salad sandwich one day, right? Yeah. Right? And then I called you and I told you all about it. I'd be excited for you. All right. Now, say I had a second great chicken salad sandwich and I called and I told you about that one. I think great. Lunchtime must be very happy for you. Terrific. Now, suppose all day long all I did was eat these chicken salad sandwiches and at the completion of each sandwich I phoned you and told you about it. Wouldn't you start to get bored? No, I would not be wouldn't bored. You get a little no, bored. I would not oh, be you bored. admit it, you'd get bored. No, no, I wouldn't be bored. I'd be concerned. I'd be concerned about your cholesterol level. Look, let's just play golf, okay, Lazarus? I can't believe that you're equating my returning from the dead with the chicken salad sandwiches. What is this freaky obsession you have with chicken salad anyway? It's beginning to scare me, actually. Oh, what? Oh, I, I'm feeling pangs of pain what? along oh, my oh, left oh, arm. A little heart attack? Yeah, a little, little heart attack. I'm finding it. Uh -huh. Very difficult breathing, actually. Uh -huh. oh, I think how awful. my old friend, I think I'm dying. Well, I think I'm terrible. dying. I think I... Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead again. Oh, no. Is that it, huh? Huh? You dead again, huh? Huh? Yes, I'm dead again. <laughs> wow. Now, this is neat. Yeah, nifty. Come on. This doesn't impress you. I've never been a ghost before. Well, I've seen it. Where have you seen it? The ghost and Mrs. Muir. That was a movie. Was that a movie first? You are so stupid. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm stupid. I'm a moron. Yes, you are okay, a moron. Four. Wow! Now that was neat. Yeah, right. Jesus, did you find the first well, moon landing boring? Give me a call when you're alive again, okay? Oh, yeah, sure. See ya. <laughs> Ignoramus! Well, I guess I better go call the ambulance. <laughs> Three things I don't like. Crazy cars, crazy kids, and birds. <laughs> the first two I avoid. The last, I eat. Oh me, I'm a cat. <laughs> 10.53 a.m. I'm out in the backyard by the big tree. You know, the, the big tree, the cornerstone of my life, my big leafy friend. There's a bird around, but he's sticking to the upper branches, so I'm staying real still, motionless. In fact, when there's a bird around, I like to pretend that I'm a, a log. Yeah, yeah, that's it, a log. Because logs are still, they, they don't move. Take it, boys. My being still log scheme is paying off big time. The bird comes in for a landing. When a bird comes in for a landing, I don't do anything except watch it. I watch the bird come in for a landing. I watch it. What would I watch? The tree? 
Anyway, he's real close now, between five and 40 yards. I'm not great with distances. But I do know instincts, so I pounce. Ah, the bird flies up. Me, I can't. I, I can't fly. Cats can't fly. I'm a cat, don't you? Whoosh, you people, I swear to you. Well, you don't have to tell me it's hell being a cat. <sighs> Take it, boys. I'm a golf pro, so obviously I wake up in the garbage. First thing I do in the morning is uh, go across the street to the restaurant, you know, grab a guy by the throat and whisper something in his ear like, oh, I don't know, I'm on fire, give me your hair. Then I let him go, you know, I uh, chase a bus for a while, you know, a couple blocks, make sure it's not doing nothing I don't like, then I let it go. When I get bored, then I go up on a roof. I just howl at the city, you know, I love to howl at this big city. And I come down, have a cup of coffee and read the paper. Me? I'm a songwriter. You know, and that isn't easy. And although I've had some success in the past, you know, I had a, had a song on the charts back in 79. You know, maybe you remember it. Uh... If you need someone to da 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 Rabunda. Well, it's called Rabunda. Uh, well, ever since then, I've just been plugging away, you know, trying to come up with number two, because, you know, I'm sure I've got it in me. And so what I do is every day I get up, and uh, first thing, I rewrite my hit. Write it out on, on, on brand new paper and give it a brand new name. You know, and then I send it out uh, that way, out towards the industry. And uh, then I go back home, have a cup of coffee, read the paper. My routine? Sure, sure, no problem. Um... Okay, uh, first thing in the morning, I wake up, and then I get up, and then um, I, uh, I have a shower, usually, and, um, oh, oh, and then I get dressed, and uh, I put on a nice new shirt, and then uh, I take out um, my Zippo lighter, and I light my shirt on fire, burns up, and then the ambulance comes, and, uh, and then it takes me to the hospital, and uh, then the doctor comes out, yeah, the doctor, and he works on my burns for a while, and uh, then after that, I get to go to the waiting room, where I have a cup of coffee, and I read the paper. <laughs> Relax, you know. Well, first thing I like to do in the morning is wake up. Now, and I brush my teeth. I'm always late, so I like to uh, get dressed as I run for the bus, you know. All on the pants, the shirt, the whole thing, right? I don't wear underwear, so that would save time. No matter how late I am, though, I always stop at the corner store for a coffee to go and a paper. I don't dick around, right? You know, I'm talking about a coffee the size of my head. Well, I'm a surgeon, so my days are very busy, but my mornings are great. What I like to do is take a nice shower, go down, have a light breakfast, always fat-free, hop in my BMW and drive to work, slow and easy. And when I get to the hospital, it's boom, the nurse is there. Boom, on with the gown. Boom, I'm handed my favorite scalpel. Boom, then I work on a guy who lights his shirt on fire. Then it's off for the gown, down the morgue, and I have my favorite cup of coffee, and I read my newspaper. Here's your shirt, Norman. Oh, thanks, Patty. Have a nice day. Class, I class. I think we're all gonna we're all gonna enjoy in, enjoy today's lesson uh, because today we're 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 gonna start to look at the the uh, the uh, the Mesozoic era and uh, 
this is a, a personal favorite of mine. It's, a, it's my favorite era in the Earth's history. It, it, it holds a lot of fond memories for me, even, even though I was uh, hardly more than a, a, a boy at the time. <laughs> Okay, moving along, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Mesozoic era, or, 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 or the, the, the age of, of reptiles, as, as, it, as, as it is known, uh, which lasted for about 155 million years, followed the, uh, the Paleozoic. And, uh, and during this period of time, the Earth began to look pretty much, pretty much the, way, the way it does today. Ah, yes, McKechnie, you've got a question. Terrific. Yes, sir, uh, about the Mesozoic era. Well, would it be fair to say that <laughs> uh, class, uh, class, Darling, darling. So, how do I look? Beautiful. As beautiful as you looked all those years ago in Budapest. Some wine. Thank you. Oh, those were heady times, were they not? You were yes. looting the KGB and me with orders to assassinate you. Yes, but you failed to complete that mission, didn't you, dear? Ah, oh, darling. How could I kill the only man I've ever really loved? How long can you stay? Not long. Just a few more stolen moments of our forbidden love. Oh, darling, why don't we run away from the world and be married? No, they would never leave us alone. Damn them. Damn them all! Damn them all indeed. Damn them! Damn! Why must their cold war interfere with our hot love? Their cold war gradually taking away heat energy from our love, increasing the temperature of their war while decreasing the temperature of our love until the two reach a mean or average temperature, at which point it sort of levels out and... and Darling! Don't talk to me of thermodynamics. Talk to me only of love. Come, Come to me! me. <laughs> Darling, yes. yes. Uh, 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 yes, M M McKechnie, you, you, you have a question? Y yes, sir. If she really loved you, wouldn't she leave her life of intrigue behind and come and live with you in a bungalow? Well, I, I, oh, ah, uh, honey. No, uh, please, I must kill. No, no, dear, let, let, let me, dear. Well, McKechnie, that's a very, very, very interesting question, but it's, it's very similar to asking, uh, igneous rock to become a, a, a sedimentary rock, which, although not impossible, would take a very long time and would re re require calling into play all of the various uh, agents of erosion, which we all know are. <laughs> you're still, you're still the best, darling. darling. No, they found us out. We are undone. Quickly, you must run. No, I'm tired of running. What? In my tooth, it's a cyanide capsule. And when I bite down on it, I will end it all here in your arms. No, yes. no, drop it, drop it, drop it, bad girl. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh, darling. Uh, class, um, be sure to be sure to read the first three chapters of the new text as homework. Aww. I can make it four, Mr. Bellini, and uh, feel free to read ahead. For tomorrow, yeah. you yeah. may die. <laughs> What should we cut now? What about us? We're not interesting anymore. We never were. We bore we. Losers! Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend us your ears! <laughs>